Once your business passes moat and management criteria, it's worth considering for stock valuation. In this session, I will provide overview of stock valuation framework. Margin of safety refers to the purchase of stocks when market price is significantly below actual stock value in relation to earnings and future expected growth. Before I explain margin of safety concept further, let's get introduced to the concept of Mr. Market by Benjamin Graham. Mr. Market is a hypothetical investor who is driven by panic and euphoria. His mood is like a pendulum that forever swings between unsustainable optimism and unjustified pessimism. Mr. Market creates ups and downs in stock prices all the time, as it approaches investing as a reaction to the mood, rather than company fundamentals. Hence Market is assumed to make mistakes in stock pricing across time and then correct it over the time. As an intelligent investor, you should be able to identify such mispricing as buying opportunity. Let's understand margin of safety concept now. I will explain with small illustration. The blue line represents stock price fluctuation in the market. The orange line represents value of the stock. It is also referred as intrinsic value. Let's apply the concept of Mr. Market here. Market is driven by emotional people that make stock prices to swing between unjustified optimism and pessimism. As stock price swings to the extreme pessimism, it creates buy zone for the investors who value company based on fundamentals. The intelligent investor is one who buys stock when it's trading considerably lower than intrinsic value. You should always look out for opportunities when stock is trading well below intrinsic value. Margin of safety is the price difference between stock intrinsic value and the actual buy price. After all, it doesn't matter how wonderful the business, it's not worth buying unless selling below certain margin of safety. As you understand the margin of safety concept, let's get introduced to stock valuation methods. Within 3M investing framework, the third M stands for margin of safety. Primarily there are two types of stock valuation techniques. Absolute valuation and relative valuation. Absolute stock valuation relies on the company's fundamental information. This method generally involves the analysis of various financial information that can be derived from company's financial statements. Many techniques of absolute stock valuation look at company's cash flows, earnings per share, dividend, estimated growth rate, book value and so on. I will explain five different types of valuation techniques in successive sessions. Discounted cash flow. EPS model. Excess return model which can be primarily used for financial companies like banks. Gram number. And net current asset value per share. Let's understand the relative valuation now. In relative valuation, the objective is to value an asset based upon how similar assets are currently priced by the market. This is like a prospective house buyer deciding how much to pay for the house by looking at prices paid for similar houses in the neighborhood. You can use various ratios for relative stock valuation, namely price to earnings, price to book value, price to sale, price to free cash flow, Relative valuation deals with the calculation of key financial ratios and perform comparison. You should compare ratios across time and also with similar companies or business model to determine the attractiveness of the stock. Every investor must master the skills of business valuation. Essentially, business valuation is a method of determining the intrinsic value of a stock or business. The different valuation tools can be leveraged depending on the nature of business, predictability in earnings and cash flows, cyclical nature, assets light or heavy, financial firms and so on. Let's start with business with predictable revenues and earnings. This includes companies with very strong business fundamentals and generally growing at stable rate. These are well-known companies and market leader in their sector with stable, predictable earnings and cash flows. 
You can leverage discounted cash flow model, EPS model, and price to earnings relative valuation techniques to value a business. Let's think about banks, finance, and insurance companies. Financial firms are different from traditional cash flow driven companies. Debt Act is a raw material for financial firm which makes free cash flow analysis difficult. You can leverage excess return model and price to book value to determine intrinsic value. Moving on to the asset heavy companies like commodity, oil and gas, metals, and so on. Their earning power comes mainly from the tangible assets. Graham's number and price to book value works well for such companies. For the businesses that are asset light, such as software, credit rating companies, and so on, price to book ratio does not work well. Next, think about cyclical or money losing companies. Price to sale ratio is a great tool for evaluating cyclical businesses. You can also use DCF model. However, you need to build in a lot of assumptions related to future growth, cash flow, margin, tax rate, and capital expenditure. Cyclical business has higher profit margin at the peak of business cycle and lower margin or even losses at the bottom of business cycle. Their earnings are high at the peak of the cycle and stock PE ratio is artificially low. Hence, Price to earnings ratio works poorly due to cyclical nature of earnings. The goal of valuation is to determine the intrinsic value of business that passes our moat and management criteria. A good valuation will help you to spot buying opportunities when stock prices are below intrinsic value. Remember, good valuation is more about the story, not the numbers alone. You must understand business, its products. How it makes money, competitive advantage, future growth prospect, management team, and then determine intrinsic value. Within 3M investing framework, we leverage these valuation models to determine business value. It works great for investors who has long term horizon. It is a time tested technique to value a business and identify mispricing in the market as buying opportunities. You can get access to our valuation toolbox at Navesh Karma to determine margin of safety. Thank you.